Welcome, welcome back on any help at C squared. In this example, we have a function, uh, and it's a piecewise function, the one you see here. Uh, 1 minus x is if x is less than or equal 0, x squared plus 1 if x is greater than 0. And we need to see the continuity of this function and this close interval. So, first of all, I'm going to look at the open interval. And on this open interval, the, the value you want to take a look at is x equals 0 this point right here what's happened here so we're going to take a look to the left of 0 so for that reason i'm going to say limit when x approach 0 minus of f of x and in this case we're going to have to use the first piece of the piecewise function because left of 0 means value less than 0 and we're going to plug 0 in and we end up with 1. Similarly, we're going to take a look to what's happened to the right of 0. But for that reason, we're going to have to pick the second piece of the piecewise function because that is when the axes are greater than 0. And again, we can plug 0 in. And we end up with the same one. So in this moment, we know the limit exists. The limit when x approach to 0 of f of x exists because both of them are 1 and it is 1. So this condition is accomplished. The next thing we want to do is to see f of 0, which is nothing else than 1 minus 0. We have to pick the first piece of the piecewise function because that's the moment when x is 0 and we get 1. So f of x is defined at 1. Moreover, we have the third condition limit when x approach to 0 of f of x is equals of f of 0. So these three conditions are accomplished. So f of x is continuous on the interval negative 2 and 2 open interval. So the only thing we have to take a look is the endpoints of this closed interval, negative 2 and positive 2. So we're going to take a look to uh, the right of negative 2, negative 2 plus, and for that reason, we're going to use the first piece of the piecewise function, right? The number less or equal 0. And if we plug negative 2, we end up with positive 3. And if you do the same thing for the value of the function at negative 2, you get positive 3. So these two values are the same, the limit and the value of the function. Similar we're going to do for uh, the other endpoint 2. Now we're going to take a look to the left of 2, value less than 2. However, greater than 0, so we're going to use the second piece of the piecewise function. And we're going to have we're going to have x squared plus 1 here. And we end up with 2 squared plus 1, which is 5. And this is also the value of the function at 2. So looking to these three conditions now, we know f of x is continuous on the in close interval now, negative 2 and 2. You can see that in this picture I have here, uh, function has no gaps, no holes, nothing. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-squared for more help. Thank you.